Today we continue our look at Martin Luther's small catechism by looking at the third commandment. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. This commandment reminds us to hear and learn the word of God and keep it sacred. The idea of Sabbath, a day set aside for holiness and rest, goes clear back to the beginning of creation. Luther connects the Sabbath with God's word because that's kind of what people do on the Sabbath, hear preaching and stuff. But the Sabbath isn't a self-contained event. Words aren't supposed to go in one ear and out the other. They're supposed to have an effect on your life. In the same way, the Sabbath isn't just about a little time spent in one day. It's about what you experience during that time, affecting all the rest of your moments. On the Sabbath, we rest from our daily labors and routine, assuring ourselves that for one day, the world can get along just fine without us. We also hear words of love and grace from the God who is always with us, so we get reminded that we're never alone. The Sabbath isn't about ducking into a place or a moment for a few hours and then emerging into the same old life. The Sabbath is supposed to change how we perceive our life, turning every ordinary moment into something extraordinary. Without the Sabbath, life quickly becomes a self-centered grind. None of us are supposed to live for drudgery and burnout. Through the Sabbath, life becomes about so much more than just us and what we can do. All of our days become infused with love and grace that we have for ourselves and can share with each other.